Hello, it's me, Deem, with Knowledge Speaks. Please don't forget to subscribe. This will really help. So let's start. Today we are going to learn about very important organelles called peroxisomes and glyoxisomes. They both are collectively called micropodies because they are very small in size. They are very crucial for living organism and now we are going to learn it in detail. Now here the question arises in some people mind that how seed get it energy and how our body detoxify from harmful substances such as alcohol, ammonia. You will be able to answer this question by yourself after watching this video. Here we are. Microbodies are small circular organelles present in cytoplasm of cell. They are only present in eukaryotic cell. As we know that there are two types of cell. First, prokaryotic which doesn't have membrane-bounded nucleus and organelles and eukaryotic which have membrane-bounded nucleus and organelles because they are surrounded by membrane that's why they are not present in prokaryotic cell. They are very small in size with diameter between 1 to 2 micrometers. This is how microbodies look like. They are surrounded by single membrane made up of lipid bilayer and protein. Same composition as that of cell membrane. They can only be seen by electron microscope. Inside this membrane matrix is present which contain a large amount of oxidative enzymes. There are two type of microbodies. First one peroxisome, second one glyoxisomes. Here is the first type of microbody called peroxisome. It get its name from its function. They make peroxide which is H2O2. They are present in all eukaryotic cells which include animal, plant, yeast and many others. They were discovered by D. Duve in 1965. They are surrounded by single membrane having oxidative enzymes in its matrix such as peroxidase, catalase and D. amino oxidase etc. They are very crucial because they convert highly toxic substances to less toxic substances. They convert alcohol to peroxides, which is less harmful than alcohol. In animals, they are mostly present in liver because liver detoxify. And in case of water deficiency, peroxide convert into H2O and O2 is produced in this process. It is called the decomposition of peroxide. This decomposition is done with the help of enzyme called catalase. This water is used to remove the harmful substances from the body such as ammonia in the form of urine. Another type of microbody present only in plant cell and especially in those cells which are rich in lipid and such as seed, it get its name from its function here, glymine glycogen. This organelle present in plant convert lipid to carbohydrates. From this carbohydrate energy is produced which is later used by plant for germination and growth. It is single membrane bounded organelle discovered by beavers in 1960s. In its matrix, oxidative enzymes are present such as catalase and glycoacid oxidase. These enzymes facilitate the conversion of lipid into carbohydrates. And the process of converting lipid into carbohydrates in glyoxisomes in the presence of enzyme is called glycosylate cycle. Now you know about the answer of the starting questions. Here is the quiz of today lesson with knowledge speak. Answer these questions below in comment section. That how hydrogen peroxide give benefit to living organisms? And why glyoxisome change fats into carbs? Now, please subscribe, like, share and press bell icon for upcoming videos on science and general knowledge topics. Thank you.